Did you know that this complicated writing system used in China and Japan was developed to communicate with the dead? Get ready to listen to a quite mysterious story. How one of the most ancient divination rituals in the world were made. And why the results of these rituals were written in bones. To understand this, we need to go back to when they discovered the origin of the Chinese writing. And that happened around 100 years ago in a quite peculiar way. In 1899, a man that was president of the Imperial University was terribly sick. His servant went out to buy some medicine in a drugstore and came back with a special ingredient called dragon bones. But since he was already well known for his studies about bronze inscriptions, he immediately noticed those bones were something else. It was a script even older than everything that was known. He then sent his servant back to the drugstore to buy every bone they had, paying a very high price. The country, however, was at war. This man was also chosen to lead an army and defend the capital. But that mission was impossible and he knew that. In the end, as soon as the army invaded the city, he decided to end his own life to preserve the honor of his people, together with his wife and daughter-in-law. The mysterious bones were then given by his son to a friend who was also a researcher, and in 1903 the first publication of this bone script was made. These writings became famous, but it took more than 10 years for people to realize how important they were. Because they were not normal bones, they were divination rituals bones from 3000 years ago, and that bone script was actually the lost origin of the Chinese characters. A fun fact is how it was around the same time that the origin of our letters was also discovered. And if you watch my last video, you know they came from the Egyptian hieroglyphs, which was also quite a surprise. But come on, what kind of thing would be written on bones? Let's read a bone to find out. Crack making on day 50. Dung divine. From today until day 54, will I be able to win a battle against the Joe people? The king prognosticated. Down to day 54, we will not harm them. But on the coming day 1, we will succeed. It was a game of questions and answers, just like a Ouija board, but made with turtle belly bones. In this divination ritual, the diviner would put a question, make the ritual, then write down what the spirits of the dead say. And if you take a close look at these bones, you can see a quite interesting thing. Their backside is full of burns and holes. And by seeing this, we can clearly understand how the ritual was done. Let's take a look. First, you have to cut the connections between belly and shell. And in the backside, you made a small hole. The person would then voice the question to the dead. Then you would heat up a stick to high temperatures and stick it into the hole. And since it's that hot, it would crack the bone. Always in a shape that resembles a T. This shape explains the Chinese character for a Nation, which is the drawing of that specific crack. All you needed to do now was to analyze a crack to understand the answer to your question. And in case it was royal divination, the king would be the one to interpret. But today, nobody knows how this interpretation was done. Some things we just speculate. For example, why turtle bones? The turtle was not even common in that region. They actually had to import the bones. And all that was probably because the turtle belly bone is really plain, perfect to crack and write. Human bones are just for drafts. And if you think they found only one or two bones, get ready for a surprise. Because after the men bought the bones from the drugstore, they investigated where the bones came from. And that's how they discovered the capital of the most ancient Chinese dynasty, the Shang dynasty. And until today, more than a hundred thousand of these bones have been found, with or without inscriptions. And that's how we know so many details. For example, these rituals are known for being really secret. You may ask, how can we possibly know this today? And the answer is in the detective work that archaeologists archaeologists do. They found the king's bones all in the same place. And bones used by other people, found even as close as 300 meters away, had a quite different ritual and script pattern. This tells us how the ritual itself was a secrecy, even from your own kin. And this reflects how important this ritual was to Chinese tradition. It was actually so traditional that the oldest cracked bone has 8,000 years. This means this Chinese ritual was done for 5,000 years straight. But in the end, was writing itself developed only for divinity? If you consider that this ritual was traditional even millennia before the Chinese invented writing, we know that this writing system was born in a society where this ritual was important. And that's why they think one of the most important reasons for having a script was to communicate with the dead. And that's why this script, the oldest in China, is known as the Oracle Bound script. But how did this secret writing end up spreading to the rest of East Asia, getting to Japan and Korea? To know that, we need to understand how it stopped being a secret. Since Shang Dynasty, the Chinese also wrote on things that were not bones. A good example is really high-tech things such as bronzewares. Looking back today, we can think people from 3000 years ago were really simple. But just to give you an idea, the biggest bronze
elsewhere in the world is from this period. It's a kind of cooking pot called Tiang that weighs about one ton and is four feet tall. But since the furnaces were really small in the capital, to make a bronze like this, you will need a highly organized production line with more than 1,000 artisans working together. This shows us how these wares were important. Thus, it's no surprise that in the next dynasty, the Zhou dynasty, it became common to write stories on these vessels. And that's the next type of ancient script, called bronze ware script. We can see characters becoming more standardized, with more clear and defined shapes. And that's why, to explain the origin of Chinese characters, I tend to bring these two old scripts here to the channel, because these two are the origin of the East Asian scripts. But can you imagine what they wrote on these bronzes? It was common to tell tales of war, but they also serve roles such as being a memento of official rituals or recording official nominations. Comparing to today, it would be just like a diploma, telling us that something important happened, and it was around that time that the script stopped being secret and more literate people appeared. Vessels and weapons with inscriptions could be found around all China, and candidates to official positions started receiving letters. From that point onwards, the art of writing spread out just like here in the West. While our alphabet here came from Egyptian hieroglyphs and was later modified in Rome, in Phoenicia, by the Greeks and the Hebrews, in China, after the fall of the Zhou dynasty, their alphabet spread through the various emerging states. A few centuries later, one of the most gloomy periods in China's history started, known as the Warring States. According to historians, those states were seven big killing machines, because they sent every year young men to die at war to increase their territories. It was only after so much bloodshed that finally, this script approached the likes of what we have today, later being also used by Japan, Korea and Vietnam. But we can talk about this later, because an even more interesting question is, how come the Chinese letters we have today are made of so many strokes? You already know that they came from rituals with bones. But how did those drawings become these strokes? And how does this alphabet made of drawings work? You may find it hard to believe, but in the beginning, our letters were also drawings. And I will prove to you right now that our alphabet is not as different from the Chinese characters as you may think. So stay with me so you don't lose any more of these fun facts. The amazing story of letters continues in the video that appears right now. Now.